We are now going to look at question 1, account debited and account credited in the general ledger. Okay, better known as T accounts. Firstly, assets become more on the debit side and less on the credit side. Owners equity become less on the debit side and more on the credit side. And the same with liabilities. Okay, so assets is the opposite of liabilities. We want more assets and less liabilities. Okay, the first question. Received 4,000 Rand from a debtor in settlement of his account. Issued a receipt. You issue a receipt when you receive money. Okay, so bank is the one account. Bank is an asset. And bank becomes more. So that is why bank will be debited. So in this case, if we look at the answer here, <coughs> bank will be debited. Um, so you see the plus there, and you see on the debit side, and you see the bank here on the debit side. Okay, the second account is debtor's control. Because we are talking about a debtor, and debtor's control is somebody that owes you money. Okay, so if this guy pays you back, he owes you less. Debtor's control is also an asset, and it will be credited in this case. And that is why we put debtor's control on the credit side in this example, and we put the amount down. Okay, that was number one. Number two, cash sales, 20,000 Rand. It tells you that you are selling and it tells you it's for cash. Okay, so the two accounts that works together here is sales and bank. Okay, bank is an asset as we heard in the previous example. Bank becomes more, so that is why bank again will be debited with the selling. Um, we wouldn't have had cash if we weren't selling. So that means the sales is a specific account that we're going to write on the credit side. But the reason why we're writing it there is because sales is owner's equity and we write it on the credit side because it makes the money of the business the owner's equity. It makes it more. Okay, but half, half of number two. Okay, now what were you selling? You were selling trading stock. Okay, trading stock at cost price. Trading stock and cost of sales works together. I'm going to explain that in a bit, uh, a bit better now. But trading stock is also an asset. And if you are selling trading stock, your trading stock becomes less. And that is why we put trading stock on the credit side here, at the bottom of number two. Okay. Now the second thing that you must understand is this trading stock you, you initially bought. And it cost you money. And you also want to work out the cost price of the trading stock that you were selling. And that's why we're writing cost of sales here. It's a cost of the thing that you are selling. And the things that you are selling is trading stock. Why is cost of sales on the debit side? Cost of sales is owner's equity. And it makes a cost, makes the money of the business less. And that is why we put it on the debit side of the account. Okay, and the amount is a cost price there of 16,000 Rand. You can see that the difference between the two is 4,000 Rand. That will also be your profit that you are making in your business with the selling of your goods. Okay. Number three, we paid a creditor per check. Now, if we're paying somebody, bank is involved. And bank is an asset and the asset becomes less. And that is why bank will be put here, number three, on the credit side. Okay. You are paying a Creditor. So that is why creditor's control is the account, the other account that works together. But why is it on the debit side? Firstly, creditor's control is your only liability. So it's on the debit side because you are paying back somebody that you owed money. You're paying him back and that is why the liability becomes less. And that is why creditor's control will be debited. Number four, mood stationary on credited. We bought stationery. Stationery is an expense or an owner's equity account. It makes the money of the business less. And that is why stationery will be debited on the, in number four. Now, why, the, why is the other account creditors control? Because you, um, you bought on credit. Now, if you're owing somebody more, it's a liability. And the only liability that we do in grade nine is creditors control. And that is why the other account will be creditors control. But another reason would be 
um, why it's on the credit side is because liabilities becomes more. You owing people more money, and the amount was 600 rand on the right hand side. Yeah. Number five, bought trading stock and paid with a check. Okay, trading stock and bank because you paid with a check and trading stock. Um, is what you bought and both of them are assets so I'm going to look at the rule of assets the trading stock becomes more that is why trading stock will be debited um, over here in number five and bank is also an asset but the bank the money in the bank becomes less and that is why bank will also be credited if we look at number six the owner takes 100 rand from the petty cash for personal use that means the petty cash, which is an asset, becomes less because you're taking money out of the petty cash box. It's not the bank in this case, it's a petty cash box. And that is why petty cash will be credited in this case. Now if it's for the owner, we always call it drawings. Um, drawings overrides any account, any um, expense account because drawings is for the owner personally so the telephone if it was telephone um, the telephone bill for example that is paid is going to be for the owner not for the business so it must be drawings and not the expense okay so in this case we're going to write drawings we put it on the debit side because it makes the money of the business less that was number six number seven the final one issues issues a check okay um, for for 200 rand, okay, th that is for petty cash. That is to reinstate the petty cash amount. Okay, I didn't finish it here, but it basically reinstates the petty cash amount. It's the amount that you, the interest balance that you have to have at the beginning of a month. Okay, so um, the petty cash becomes more. So that is why petty cash will be debited, and bank will be. Um, well, and it's a, and it's an asset, so it will be debited, and bank um, will be credited because bank is also an asset, and the money in the bank becomes less because you're paying out of the bank to make the impressed balance more um, um, in the petty cash or in the petty cash box. That's all from me for today for account debited and account credited.